Hello everyone, welcome back to Seams and Notches. If this is your very first time, thank you so much for joining the family. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a thing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you once again for joining us. And please don't forget to comment down below on what next you want us to feature on this channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get started on what we have for you today. I have got my pattern paper. I have got my calico fabric or cotton fabric. This is what we are going to use to drape our bodies. And I have got my fabric scissors. I have got my paper scissors. And I've got my mechanical pencil. You can use whatever type of pencil you've got. That is totally fine. I have my permanent marker here. This is just for demonstration purposes. So you don't need to have that. I have got my sewing pins here for securing our fabric onto our dress form and i have got my measuring tape and i've got my draping tape this is used for um draping your style lines and i'm going to show you how to use that in a minute so there are different types i'm using the black one because my dress form is a white dress form so i want to see um the draping tape underneath my fabric so that is why i'm using a black um cotton draping tape so i'm going to show you how we're going to use that in a minute and i've got my tracing wheel and of course i've got my notcher for my pattern so, so for today's draping class i am going to be using a uk size 10 dress form or if you are in the united states i am going to be using a u s size 6 dress form now we have on our dress form all the lines indicated such as the center front line we have the princess panel line and we have the neckline and as well as the waist line all these lines are going to be traced off using our draping tape and i'm going to show you in a minute how we're going to do that so if you have all your materials ready let us get started so before we get started we need to make sure we have our dress form mapped out and what i mean by that is that we need to trace off all these lines such as the center front line the princess panel line and as you can see the side seam and as well as the princess panel line at the back and the center back line and the neck line so you want to make sure that you have your waistline um, at the right position so the first thing we need to do using our draping tape we need to trace off the center front line using our draping tape so we're going to start from the base of the neck and make sure you follow the center front line like so i am going to use my sewing pins to secure the draping tape onto the dress form like so mapping the vertical lines on our dress form next we are going to start with the horizontal lines but before we do that we need to make one thing clear when it comes to the side seam because most of our traditional dress form has a dress form on plate so what we need to do when it comes to the side seam before you start mapping out the side seam you want to make sure that you leave at least one inch from the base of your um plate that's on the dress mannequin something like this so and you're going to just mark that out and i'm going to show you why that is important so once you mark one inch from the base of the arm plate you are now going to start using your draping tape to map out your side seam so that is really important so i just wanted to clarify that before we commence so once you have that this is the side seam and as you can see we have traced all the lines using our draping tape we are now going to start with the horizontal lines which is the neckline the bust line the waist line 
Yes. Now, we're going to first of all start with the bust line. In order for you to locate your bust line, you are going to identify where you have the sharpest point on the bust. So you're going to fill it here. I, already, I can already identify that. So you're going to fill where the sharpest point is on the bust. And that will be an indicator on where your apex should be. That is the bust point. So once you have located that, all you need to do is to just use your hand and just use that to mark where you have your apex point. Then you're going to use your pin or your sewing pin. You're just going to use that to um, just place a mark there and you know that that is your apex. You're going to get your ruler, whatever you have to measure your lines. So you're going to place it on the apex point where you have the pin and you're going to use that just straight. You don't need to bend it. Make sure it's exactly on the apex point and you're just going to place that towards the center front. Once you have that towards the center front like so, you're going to use your pencil or your pin to just place a mark there like so. So you want to make sure it's on a straight line. And once you're satisfied with that line, you're going to use your pin to place a mark there. And the reason why we need that is for us to use that as a guide to place our bust line. So once we have pinned our point, what we need to do is to get our draping tape. We're going to use that to mark in our new bust line. So using our draping tape, we're going to pin our draping tape on the center front line so where this pin is we're going to take that off make sure your hand or your finger is well um, pressed through the draping tape and you're going to take this off while you still have your finger pressed on your draping tape you're going to use your sewing pin to pin that in place like so so in that way that is secured so once you have that, you have a straight line going towards the bust. So again, we have us, our sewing pin as an indicator for our apex point. We're going to take that off, still holding our draping tape on a straight angle. And we're going to take that off, pin that in place. And you have a straight line for your bust line. And we're going to hold that in place, turning your dress form like so towards the side seam. And you're just going to pin it once you get to the side seam like so. So this process should be straightforward. It shouldn't be um, too complicated. Once you have that in place, you're just going to cut out the SS um, draping tape. And there you have it is on a straight line so if you turn it you see that your bust line is well aligned so you want to make sure you have all your tapes well secured on the line so now you have your bust line when it comes to the waistline you're going to do as what we did before since we already have an indicator on where our waistline should be all we need to do is to get our draping tape. So for the back, you might notice that we have a new star line um, placed on the back dress form. And that is our back shoulder blade level or the across back level now in order for you to get this measurement or the point we need to measure the back neck to waist and whatever measurement we have we are going to divide that into four and one quarter of that measurement will be the across back point which is what we have here all you need to do is to get your draping tape place that on that point once you have that measurement and take your draping tape straight along that line. So for our measurement for our calico um, that we're going to use for our draping, 
what we need to do is to make sure we have the right measurement and starting off we need to make sure we start measuring from the neck band this that's at the top of this um, part of your dress form which is called the neck band so we are going to start off our measurement from that point we're going to place our measuring tape from that point down to the waistline so whatever measurement you have on your dress form you are going to add five inches to that measurement so once you have that measurement that is the vertical measurement we are going to now take the horizontal measurement which is you're going to measure along the bust line towards the side seam and you're going to place your measuring tape exactly at this position and you're going to follow through down towards the side seam like so so once you have that measurement you are going to again add five inches to that measurement so you're going to measure from the center front towards the side seam stopping here whatever measurement you have add five inches to that measurement so those are the measurement you need for your front bodies so the next measurement you need for your fabric to drape the back um, bodies all you need to do is to measure from here to this point and add five inches to that measurement that will be the width of your fabric that you use for your back draping and for the length of your back fabric you will need to measure from the neck band down to the waist whatever measurement you've got you need to add five inches to that measurement and that will give you the length that you need for your back draping again you need the width of your back fabric and the length of your back fabric when you have those measurements add five inches to those measurements and that will give you the amount of material that you need so here i have my front and back fabric that we will use in draping the front and back bodies the first thing we need to do is to prepare our fabric for draping first of all we are going to draw our center front line and the center back line in order for us to draw that we need to measure one inch from the edge of our fabric which is the savage we need to measure one inch inwards so from the edge of your fabric you just measure one inch inwards and you do the same for your back fabric piece so i'm going to show you how we need to do that so i have my ruler and i'm going to draw in i'm going to mark in one inch from the edge of our fabric and that will serve as our center front and our center back line so here i have my ruler and i'm just going to mark in one inch so mark that in once you have that you're going to draw a straight line as well so before we do that we are going to mark one inch at the edge of your fabric as well So once you've marked that get your ruler and join both points together like so and we're going to do the same for the back fabric now we have our center front line and our center back line drawn in the next thing we need to do is to mark in the rest lines that we are going to use so we're going to start first of all with our front bodies we're going to start draping the front bodies so what we need to do now is to make sure we iron or press along this line we're going to press inwards so this is our fabric so we're going to press along this line inwards 
like so so we're gonna press in so you have the edge of your fabric facing inwards and we're going to just follow along the line like so so i'm going to take this to my pressing board and press that inwards so there you have it we have pressed in the edge of our center front inwards like so so next we need to locate our bust line in order for us to get that we're going to go back to our dress form and locate our bust line okay. we need to start off by measuring from the neck band place our measuring tape at this point and instead of going straight to the center front we are going to take our measuring tape along the bust line stopping at the apex point so whatever your measurement is that is your bust line measurement and i'm going to show you in a minute what we need to do with that so in instead of taking your measurement down to your center front line you take it to your apex point and that will serve as whatever measurement you have that will be the measurement you need for your bust line on your fabric so on our fabric we need to locate our bust line so starting from the top of our fabric which is along the center front you're going to measure whatever it is that you have um whatever it is that you've measured on your dress form as your bust line so mine is 11.5 inches so i'm just going to mark that there and that will be my bust line point. So you're going to use your L square ruler to make sure you have it on a straight grain. You have your line on a straight grain. So I've got my L square ruler and this is totally optional. What you can do is to if you don't have an L square ruler, you can go to the end of your fabric like so and just measure that same measurement you had for your bust line. You're going to measure that at the second, at the other end of your fabric. Just mark that there and you join both points and that will serve as your bust line. So I've marked that there. And I'm going to join both line, both points together, and this will be my bust line. So now we have our new bust line on our fabric. What we need to do is to label this as the bust line. So I'm just going to write that down so we don't forget. Make sure you label that line as your bust line. To locate your apex point, we are going to measure from the center front towards the apex point. Whatever measurement that is, that will be the measurement for your apex point. So starting from the center front, we're going to place our measuring tape and just measure from this point to this point. And that is four inches on my dress form. So your um, measurement may vary depending on the size that you're using for your dress form, but mine is four inches. So once we have that, we are going to mark that on our fabric. The next point that we need to mark in on our fabric is the apex point. So starting from the center front, you are going to measure your apex point and mine is four inches from the center front and I'm going to mark that and this is my apex point so to locate your side seam point from the apex point we are going to measure towards the side seam so you're going to place your measuring tape 
on the apex point straight to the side seam and whatever measurement that is you are going to use that for your um, side seam point so next to the apex point we need to mark in our side seam point so from our apex point mine is five and a half inches that measurement we need to add one eighth of an inch for ease so when you have your measurement that is from the apex point to the side seam whatever that measurement is you need to add one eighth of an inch to that measurement and that will be serve as your ease and in centimeters that will be approximately 0 0.3 centimeters so you're just going to add that to your measurement So we have our apex point, we have our side seam point plus the ease. The next thing we need to do is to mark the center of the princess panel line. So in order for us to get that, we are just going to divide this point. So that's from your apex to your side seam. You're going to measure that. Whatever you get, divide that into two and that will mark and that will be the center of our princess panel point. And I'm going to show you why we need that. So make sure you measure from this point to this point and divide that by two, and that will serve as the center of your princess panel points. So once we have that measurement, we are going to square a line down to the waist line. So our fabric is prepared now we are ready for draping remember we have our apex point we have the center of our princess panel line and we have our side um, seam point these are the markings that we need for our fabric and in order for us to drape the front bodies these are the markings that we need so now we are going to go straight to our dress form and start draping <laughs> 